calendar, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. Decker. At this time, are there any speeches on the part of the minority? There being none, any speeches on the part of the majority? And the chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Thank you, Mr. President. On this last Thursday of Women's History Month, I rise with the risk of sounding like a broken record. We're about to close the book on another Women's History Month where we celebrate the achievements of women and highlight the significant work we still have to do. We have indeed taken two steps forward, four steps backwards, and that's exactly how I feel about the status of women in America in 2015. Specifically, I'm referring in large part to the embarrassing spectacle, spectacle we're witnessing from a few Republicans in the United States Senate where Loretta Lynch, the United States General for the Eastern District of New York, is awaiting confirmation. Mr. President, I submit the following. Quote, Loretta Lynch is entitled to confirmation as our United States Attorney General, not as a woman, not as a man, but as a highly qualified candidate. Loretta Lynch is more than qualified. In fact, she's overqualified to be Attorney General, end quote. These are not my words. They are the words of Judy Giuliani, former mayor of New York City, former United States prosecutor, and a prominent, respected Republican. Fact, the confirmation process for Loretta Lynch has now lasted as long as the previous five Attorney General confirmation hearings combined. I repeat, the confirmation process for Loretta Lynch has now lasted as long as the previous five Attorney General confirmation hearings combined. My daughter, after hearing me lecture about a point I wish her to absorb, accept, or act upon, would say, Mom, really? So why is Ms. Lynch's confirmation hearing delayed? Is it because she's a woman? Is it because she's an African-American woman? We do not know those answers, but the questioning, the belittling, and the overall lack of respect shown towards Ms. Lynch is giving me vivid flashbacks to the Anita Hill hearings. We do not have one concrete reason why the hearing is being delayed. Republicans are holding Loretta Lynch's confirmation because they want to prevent human trafficking victims from getting abortions. So let me get this straight. A woman is sold into sexual slavery. She is raped. She becomes pregnant as a result of that rape. And so we have United States senators, 48 of those Republican senators, who want to use their power to make sure this woman is forced to have the child of the man who raped her while she was held captive as a sex worker. Call that arrogance, and we won't talk about the damage done to the victims, a circumstance I am sure not any of those senators would want their daughters to endure. And all of this because, all of this to prevent an exceedingly credentialed, experienced, qualified African-American woman for making history by serving our country. Whilst, while this is a disgrace, I would call it typical. So, Mr. President, the answer is no, I do not like sounding like a broken record. However, until we stop seeing these scenes played out each year, like Anita Hill in the early 1990s, like Rush Limbaugh calling women feminist Nazis three years ago, like the contraception debate of 2012, like Governor Corbett telling women to close their eyes in 2014, like Republican United States senators blocking the Paycheck Fairness Act, and now like the Loretta Lynch confirmations hearing in 2015. Until these scenes stop playing out on TV screens and in our newspapers, I will continue to speak out, I will continue to speak up, I will continue to speak out often from this chair and use this chair as a platform when it comes to the in inequity and inequality too many of our women face across college campuses, in the workforce, and around the world. So in closing, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, I submit that the war on women continues. There's a war on women on your daughter, my daughter, nieces, and daughters in this room. And so, Mr. President, the mission for fairness continues. I thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Councilwoman. Chair, Chair